Uh, good morning chums. We're going to deal with this old chestnut, the exploding the model trick. This morning I need to send this model off to somebody. Uh, they haven't got advanced still. Um, they want an exploded sap model. I could use the 3D DWF, it was just for viewing. They could use Navis where it's freedom or something like that. If they've got the object enabler on their uh, AutoCAD, the full version of AutoCAD, not the LT, I could send them the model and they would be able to open it and review it. But I'm going to explode it. First thing to do before we explode anything is we want to save this. We want to save a backup of this. So we're going to go save as. And I'm going to call this, uh, I've got an exploded one here already. So I'm going to call this to exploded. And I'm going to save it. Right, if you don't do that, there's no recovering. <laughs> so if you've uh, not backed up your model, oops. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just get rid of some junk that I don't want in the exploded model. So I don't want these levels. So I can just uh, select those and delete them. I don't want the roof cladding, so I'm going to select similar. I'm just going to delete that. Got all sorts of things here, concrete, bits and pieces, grids. Don't want those, so I'm going to right click, select similar. I'm going to delete those. Got some other bits and pieces here. That's This defines the outline of the building. Don't want that. I've got some glass panels. Select similar and delete. Got some other bits and pieces. This is timber decking. So we're going to select similar and we're going to delete those. Cameras. Don't want cameras. Select similar, delete. I've got some, uh, like these would define the cladding areas actually. So these are structural elements. So I'm going to select these, select similar, and delete. Got some more concrete there. Obviously it's a concrete beam, delete that. Okay, so we get in there now. I've got some joint boxes and bits and pieces and the bolts you can see. I'm looking at the bolts in and anchors in standard display. So what I can do, I can come here and I've selected all the bolts, 196 objects, right click and display type solids. They were already turned on by the look of it. Do the same for the anchors, right click and um, we'll turn those on as well. So display type solids there. Few other things I don't want joint boxes, I can set them from here. 137 objects selected, let's delete those. Welds, don't need those, we we'll delete those. All right, so here we are. Now, what I could do, I could select the plates and explode to ACS, and the bolts explode to ACS, and everything else explode to ACS. Um, I don't need to do that. If I go to the command line and I type astor explode one of the options here is aster explode to aces if i select this and it says what do you want to explode and i'm going to say all there we go so i've selected the whole model and i'm going to right click this operation may take a long time to greatly improve performance blah 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 blah, blah. i'm going to say discard the draw order i'm going to say yes we're going to wait We do this real time so you can see how long it takes. It doesn't take too long. Okay, done. Let's have a look at this. I've got a few bits and pieces here. Got some, let's select those. Let's go rid of those. Features. Don't need to get rid of those, just tidies it up a little bit. Okay, so there it is. Here's the model. If I go into select advanced steel objects and turn off advanced steel objects, select objects off, nothing turns off, there's nothing there. Explode to ACES. So even without the Grey Tech tool, it doesn't take too long to uh, do that. The important thing is back up first. When you're deleting things, um, you can select similar. Once you delete the joint box, you've effectively exploded the joint. So then when you were, uh, if you were to delete bolts or anchors, the joint doesn't disappear. So there is a certain uh, hierarchy. 
but it's as simple as that. I can now send this model, I'd save it, send it off, and uh, these guys can open it in Inventor or whatever they want to do with it. If it was going to go to Inventor, sometimes they ask for it to be exported as a SAT file, and you can do that. Asus SAT here. Okay. I'm not going to bother because I'm going to open it in AutoCAD, not Inventor. They can open the uh, SAP model in Inventor, the exploded model. But uh, there it is. Okay, that's it. Until next time, have a good day.